So how could you download and install Darknet's YOLO v4 object detection framework so that you could train YOLO v4 model on your own customized data set? Also, how can you perform object detection on a given image or video using pre-trained YOLO v4 model? Folks, Nitin here and this is the AI University channel. In this video, we are going to see the detailed steps to download and install Darknet's YOLO v4 object detection framework, learn about uh, various dependencies and how to make configuration changes to run the model efficiently, as well as download pre-trained weights to perform object detection on a given image or video using pre-trained model. Along with this, we'll see how to download the object detected image and video on our local computer after we perform object detection on them. We will be using Google Colab for this purpose in order to make use of GPU hardware accelerator so that our deep learning model can get trained in a faster manner. One of the other reason of using Google Colab is that a lot of dependencies gets fulfilled automatically when we try to train our model there. So watch this video till the end. This video might be little long but believe me if you watch it till the end you will learn a lot of new concepts and tricks that will help you uh, in a long run in your machine learning journey. If you are new here then consider subscribing to this channel. A lot of times I have seen people appreciating the content but forgetting to subscribe due to immense excitement. Please show your love and support by liking, sharing and subscribing to this video as I will feel highly motivated. If you have already subscribed then click on the bell icon to receive the notifications about hottest technologies of 21st century. You can download the code related Jupyter Notebooks and other related material by enrolling to this course on the AI University website. If you like to go through these courses on mobile then consider downloading the AI University Android app. All the courses are offered free on our website. So as I explained earlier, YOLO uses convolutional neural network to train these models. So we need to use GPU machines for that purpose. If you have jumped directly on this video, then consider going through previous videos in order to understand what is YOLO v4 and how can we download a custom and annotated dataset free of cost as well as how can we annotate the images by ourselves if in case we have our own image data. So without further delay, let's move to the Google Colab Jupyter Notebook. So as a first step, we need to change the acceleration mode to GPU. So let's first click on the runtime, then click on change runtime type. You will see a drop down here. So you can select GPU or TPU. So I would select GPU here. Click on save. Okay. Now your GPU hardware acceleration is enabled and you can train your model in a pretty fast manner here. So now let me explain the code in a step by step manner. In the first cell, I'm mounting the Google Drive so that uh, we can access various files, image data set, etc. that we uploaded on Google Drive. Here, first we are importing drive from google.colab and then after that we are using mount function associated with the drive. You will need to uh, provide authorization here when you run this cell. In the next cell, I am importing the OS package so that I can uh, change the directories whenever I want to. This is something which I am doing in the next cell. I am changing the current directory to slash content slash drive slash my drive slash YouTube project slash YOLO v4. So first I am setting the path variable and then I am uh, using chdir function of OS package to change the current directory. I am pass passing the path variable as an argument here. I wanted to download YOLO v4 in my YOLO v4, uh, YOLO underscore v4 folder hence I set the directory to this location. So in the next cell I am cloning the darknet repo in order to download YOLO v4. When we run the cell it will uh, clone darknet from Alexi AB's repository. So you can see that it has cloned the repository in the directory. I will show you in a short while. After this, we need to change a certain configurations inside a file named as make file. So let's head over to our YOLO v4 folder. So you could see that a separate darknet folder has been created here. Let's go inside this folder and this folder has been created as a part of the cloning process. So you remember we cloned a, a repository a while ago. So 
this folder or the YOLO v4 framework darknet folder has been created as a part of that. So let's locate the make file now. So you will see that there is a file with the name make file. So just right click on it and select open with text editor. So you could see a separate tab will be opened where you will see the content of the file. So now you can see the content of this file. So we need to change the values for GPU, CUDNN and OpenCV from 0 to 1. I have already made those changes. So you could see that the value of GPU is already 1, CUDNN is 1, and OpenCV is 1. These were 0 earlier but I have changed it. So that's why you are able to see their value as 1. So you also need to make the similar changes. So these are some of the configurations that are required to use GPU environment successfully as well as enable OpenCV to view images and detect them in right manner. CUDA is or CUDA is a parallel computing platform and programming model that makes uh, using a GPU for a general purpose computing simple and elegant. If you are not training your model in Google Colab and is training uh, it in your own GPU based hardware machine, then you need to have following things installed in your environment depending upon whether you are using Windows system or Mac OS or Ubuntu. So these are some of the things you need to make sure that you have installed in your environment which is Git installation, CMake installation, Python installation, OpenCV, uh, Visual Studio, CUDA, CUDNN and you must have a latest GPU driver. Since Google, Google Colab fulfills most of the requirements out of the box, so we will uh, do necessary installation as and when we feel uh, a need of it. In the next cell, I'm just trying to show you how to see the CUDA version so that you get a feel of what am I talking about. I've also mentioned the CUDNN and OpenCV versions Google Colab uses out of the box. So you could see the version here. In the next cell, we are going inside the darknet folder using chdir function and then compiling the darknet framework using make command. This is required so that we can use darknet files to train our custom object detection model. We can run any shell command in Google Colab if we prefix the related command with exclamatory mark. And that is the reason you are uh, seeing this exclamation mark before make command. So when I ran this cell, you could see that the framework is compiled. Moving on, in the next cell, we are verifying if the compilation is successful by typing exclamation dot slash darknet. If you get the output as shown below, then it means your compilation is successful. Then in the next cell, we are downloading the YOLO v4 pre-trained weight so that we can perform object detection on image and video. We already know from previous videos that YOLO v4 is trained on Coco data set only. So I also wanted to show you how pre-trained YOLO v4 object detector detects objects in an image and in video. We however will be training the object detection model on our coffee and tea data set in the later video. But for now let's take a look at how pre-trained YOLO v4 object detection model detects objects in a given image as well as in a video. First I uploaded my own image and video with the name myimage.jpg and myvideo.mp4 inside the data subfolder of darknet. Let me show you. So here is the data subfolder inside darknet. Just click on it and you could see that I have uploaded myvideo.mp4 and myimage.jpg in order to perform object detection. These are my own files, these two files. But you could see that there are other JPG files uh, present in this folder. So you can make use of those files as well to see the object detection using YOLO v4. Moving on. So here in the next cell, we are running a command to perform object detection on my own image, which is stored in data subfolder of darknet. Here we are running detector and referring my image.jpg as test image. Coco.data file YOLO v4 dot cfg file and YOLO v4 dot weights files are required for running the detector. Coco dot data and uh, YOLO v4 dot cfg are stored in cfg folder of darknet and as I told you earlier my image dot gpg is stored in data folder okay so that's why these are prefixed with uh, corresponding folder names. 
so this was my original image and when I ran the cell it detected and this is the image after we performed object detection you can see the bounding boxes around the objects and it is very well identifying the objects as well so you, here you can see that person with a probability 96 percent and dogs with the probability 98 and 92 percent respectively but obviously we need to perform certain uh, steps here to show this image to you so let me explain it to you so in the next cell i have commented certain lines of code which you can run if in case you are getting permission denied error error on your darknet folder then in the next line i'm showing you the result of object detection performed on my image.jpg i'm using matplotlib inline to show the result the code is quite self explanatory in this cell right so this is how it is detecting the objects moving on in the next cell we have the code to download the object detected image on our local computer so this is the code to download this particular object detected image which is this image on your local computer so here we are importing files from google.colab first and then we are using download function and passing the name of the prediction.jpg to download the resultant image i mean the name predictions.jpg so when you run this cell the image will be downloaded to your computer in the next cell we are performing the object detection on my own video named as myvideo.mp4 that is stored inside again a data folder of darknet you could see the command to perform the object detection on a video here input video is myvideo.mp4 which is stored in data subfolder hyphen out underscore file name argument is being used to generate an output video file or processed file with the name obj underscore det underscore video dot avi that will have the objects detected in the video hyphen don't underscore show argument is used to switch off the window while processing the video when i ran the cell it ran the detector on my on my video dot mp4 file so this was my original video and this was the video after we ran that object detection command you can see the boundary boxes around the objects and it is clearly identifying all the objects such as wine glass pizza person etc moving on in the next cell we have the code to download the object detected video on our local computer here uh, we are again uh, using download function and passing the name of the video file as obj underscore det underscore video dot avi to download the resultant video when you run this cell the video will be downloaded to your computer so folks this is it for this video in the next upcoming video i will cover another important topic of the yolo v4 series so here is today's question state true or false yolo v4 is trained on image net uh, data set only Please post your answers, comments in the comment section given below so that I can get a chance to incorporate your feedback. You can also post your technical questions in the comment section and I will try to answer the same. If you are watching this video and you are not already a subscriber to our channel, consider clicking that little subscribe button. In case you have already subscribed, then click on the bell icon to receive the notifications whenever I will release a new video. So thanks for hanging out with me guys. I will be covering next topic in the upcoming video. So keep on watching. Thank you.